um, now for the rebuttal, and we will start with Matt. Okay, so as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking that I'm between two art house critics um, that are reviewing a movie that like three people on the planet saw and thought was good, and it was probably fantastic, um, but still only three people on the planet saw it, and uh, so it's only as relevant as, uh, as that. I don't want to fixate on the numbers, but I'm going to fixate on the numbers, and <laughs> if, you've, if you've got, there must be some reason, and it can't be that everybody on the planet has been duping themselves into believing this GPL thing is good. 70% plus of the projects out there, open source projects out there, are GPL, and there's a very good reason for that. That BSD, I mean, I don't want to harp on its origins, but Berkeley, somebody was smoking something when they when they came up with it. And they said, and they thought, hey man, let's just give it away. Who cares what anybody does with it? And, and uh, and 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 it's kind of it's kind of like that. I mean, it's great if you just want to. I mean, if and I invite anybody in here who wants to give me their house or their car or anything else. That's kind of the mentality: is we're just going to ride it. If you want to give anything back, that's fantastic. Um, the problem with that is that it doesn't create that network of trust. It's, uh, it creates some fantastic software. And if you look at the Apache uh, as a variant of BSD, um, FreeBSD, et cetera, it's some just absolutely fantastic projects, no doubt about it. The problem, however, is that there's no guarantee that anything will come of that. And what you have is these projects as FreeBSD and NetBSD and, and MattBSD and MikeBSD and uh, I don't think David's come up with his own BSD yet. Uh, uh, but you just have this incredible proliferation of forks. And why? Because nothing has to go back. Um, GPL does a good job, I think, of corralling community to kind of steer everybody in the same direction. Not to say that there aren't plenty of Linux uh, variants, because there are. Um, I'll anticipate that argument before you take your notes. <laughs> um, also, David had mentioned that uh, the the BSD was a lot like science, and I, as I was listening to that, I'm a huge proponent of the of the BSD and Apache license style of, li of licensing. But one thing it is not is anything like science. Um, if you think about, if I'm a scientific researcher and I could go and pilfer your research and use it for whatever I wanted without giving any attribution back, without saying this is where I got it. That's effectively what BSD allows you to do. The way science works is by attributing back to the building on what other people have done, taking the best that uh, Professor Scientist Mike has done and then, and then using that but also giving correct attribution back and, and building on that derivative work and contributing back. That is the way science works. Frankly, that's also the way the GPL works. It's not at all the way BSD works. BSD is a very Wild West sort of science indeed that allows you to take whatever somebody else has done, their hard work, give no attribution back, give nothing back, and potentially take it off in a completely different direction. Um, so it's it's a good license, but it doesn't do that. And uh, I got to come back to, I mean, echoes something that David said. I think the EPL is fantastic for lawyers, but you don't find many lawyers writing software. And the only places that you find lawyers involved in the writing of software are at very big companies, which is why when, when Mike mentions the successes of uh, adoption of the EPL, he mentions IBM, Symbian, but the heartland of, of open source is not IBM, fantastic as IBM has been for open source. It's not Symbian. It's the developers that started MySQL in a garage in Sweden or wherever, some, somewhere. It's those individual developers that make up the lifeblood of open source. And those developers use GPL. They don't use BSD for the most part. BSD, I think, is 7%, 8% uh, of the open source project market. Um, it's the GPL. And why, again, it comes down to trust. It comes down to creating these trust-based networks where people can contribute knowing that their software is not going to be hijacked. <laughs>